welcome back. I uh, wanted this episode to be kind of focused around Groundhog Day, mostly because Punks like, and Fell was. If he would have said more winter, I would have I would have done that rat. Okay. The whole gist of the Groundhog Day movie, right, was waking up to live the same day over and over again. And I think a lot of people feel like that. I think it's a, why a lot of my friends are getting out of food and beverage. Um, we used to always say, like, one of the best things about working in food and beverage is, like, never knowing, like, what kind of day you're going to have. Well, when people start peeing in wine glasses in the middle of a dining room, suddenly you're like, can I just get a little consistency? That'd be so great. We all love Bistro Huddy. We love all these self-effacing jokes about food and beverage, especially the management side on the internet. But, like, are we really just in a, like... Is it okay that we just keep laughing at ourselves about this? I think laughing about it is almost help normalizing the behavior like no one's learning from it. So I think what I want to do going forward and what I kind of started to do with my e-resume, but I just didn't continue it. I had some other stuff kind of come up. And I was also a little nervous, right? I was like scared to share my honest experiences because some of them are just traumatic. And I realized that's the other reason why I also hadn't been looking for a job so seriously. It's like, I'm not lazy. I'm traumatized. This traumatized me. Well, hey, everybody. It is I, your movie maven, Kai. And today happens to be Groundhog Day. And it seems that the groundhog did not see its shadow, so we are looking for an early spring. So those of you in those really cold areas, congratulations. Hopefully it won't last too long. Um, one of my favorite movies of all time is Groundhog Day. Harold Ramis directed, Bill Murray starred, absolutely, absolutely incredible. In fact, the idea was so great that it has been used in so many movies from and, and TV shows from Supernatural all the way up to uh, Happy Death Day the idea of living the same day over and over and over again is probably one of the most torturous things you could think of. Um, but I love Bill Murray and, you know, um, his inventive ways to off himself just to get out of the day. And the idea of reliving the same day over and over again, just so that you could finally get it right is I think something that is, you know, just really resonates with people. You know, you think of all those mistakes that you've made. You think of what your life, you know, is like and having to replay the same moments, but being able to replay those same moments and make them better. I think that, you know, in the beginning, it seems like such torture, but, you know, in the end, you realize like being able to have that second chance, those first impressions, like all of those, you know, dreadful things that keep you up at night. Oh my God, why did I say that? And being able to erase it and just start again. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, if you've not seen Groundhog Day or Happy Death Day or any of the other number of <laughs> movies that have used this, uh, this plot device, this trope, do yourself a favor, watch Groundhog Day first because it was the one that did it best. It's the original. Um, and then go off and, you know, find all of the other movies and TV shows that have, uh, have used it. Um, some of them do it very well. Some of them do it not so well, but <laughs> make your own, uh, make your own decision, make your own decision with all of that. Um, it's also Black History Month, so, uh, and Valentine's Day, and uh, all kinds of stuff. So hopefully throughout the month, we'll have a lot more stuff to, uh, to spotlight, and I'm really looking forward to that. It's gonna be a good month, guys. Remember, January is the trial month. So all of those resolutions, all of those plans you had, this is gonna be my year, you still have time. Let's start over, guys. Let's replay it one more time. Happy Groundhog Day. We will play February 2024 playlist on Spotify.
cream this butter with three quarters of a cup of sugar. There's that much. I think I could use honey also. Okay, messy, okay. Still getting used to this thing, so please be with me. going in now. Flowering my nose from the flowering of the pan. Let's go to the final step. Hey Google, set timer for 15. And our clean kitchen now looks like this, everybody. How great, that's so fun. Isn't life just full of miracles and circles of life? All right. Banana raisin bread. Looking pretty. 